Hello Mick Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Flashpoint Rogue Tech 0998 Plus. And today we are going to play a bunch more missions because I want to get a heavy mech. I really, really want to get a heavy mech. For that reason, I will travel to a new planet with a higher difficulty setting and uh, hope for the best. That's the plan here, guys. So we have to repair our Shadowhawk a little bit, our OZL a little bit. And the next financial report is also at our doorstep. For that reason, we quickly take a look at the store. We're going to take a look at what we can sell in order to get the money back. And uh, I will just sell some stuff that I will never, 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 ever use here. For example, three AC2s. I will never use them. Never. Um, we have... Uh, how many medium lasers do we have? Let me check them out, guys. We have two large lasers. Get rid of them. I mean, why in the hell would we use them, right? Uh, the LRM-17 is <laughs> still there. Nah. LRM-20? Yeah, we also don't use 20s. 20s are quite inefficient when it comes down to damage against storage. Let's go for more. We don't need that many. All right. So, now we have enough money, actually. And we can try... Honestly, no, 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 wait. Uh, we also sell the rifles, yeah? Uh, we need a little bit more because we will be jumping a bunch of times. <laughs> we have 14 machine guns. I will honestly keep them. I like to build a machine gun thing at some at some point. Also, two plasma cannons. If we can find plasma ammunition... Ooh, that would be great. Let me take a look at uh, the ammunition available. It should be here now, right? Or is it still ballistic? Oh, we don't have anything available at that planet. Ah, oh, it's okay. So, what we want now is kind of a three, three and a half skull planet. And I have the feeling that we need to kind of get out of Steiner space. We need to go to a, like a borderline... Borderline? Borderland? Borderland planet. Where uh, we can uh, take contracts against other people for the Steiners. Very important. But this is 35 days. I mean, it's uh, that's too much. We, we need more money in between. That is 5 skull. That's a half skull. That's uh, also 5 skull. I think I can spare like 20 days? Kind of? This is perfect. Green law. Hell yeah, let's go. Prison planet. Uh-huh. Let's do it. 50,000 sea bills. A bunch of time here. 20 days. Yeah. And um, while we are flying, we can upgrade our ship. We get out of the fatigue. Financial report is safe. That's 14 more days. Yeah, I think we are fine. So we have half a month to gather another 700,000 sea bills. But I think we will be able to do so. So let's do it. What I'm looking for, obviously, is a mission that gives us good money early. And then when we have acquired enough... Aha! This is, by the way, why we got the uh, hydroponic garden. Because now we can recreate an authentic Triple F burger giving us a lot of morale. That's really good. Um, I want to get a nice uh, money mission. And then after that, uh, when we are safe for the next financial report, we're going to grind towards more salvage. I want to get a heavy mech. That's the next thing on the line. That's the next thing on the list. We need another heavy mech. Uh, specifically, a new medium mech. Uh, no, specifically, a new melee mech, where we can put in more lasers. I want to do that. Taking a look at the store before we drop. Sure, why not? Maybe there's something that I really, really, really want. And I will actually invest into that. Um, I don't see anything yet, though. Mm, no, no, no. Artemis uh, MML ammo is quite interesting. It's pretty good. Uh, what else? Thermoball 20. <laughs> ah, another bin of Inferno SRM. Mm. I'll take that. Just to have it for later. Um, there's dead fire ammo and no streak SRM streak LRM. I didn't know LRM streaks w would exist or existed. All right, that's interesting. Okay, so what we do now is first of all we take a look at the barracks because we might be able to get another another warlord ready. Skyro still struggling, and that guy really needs higher guts. Starbird already has that. Ulysses is now a warlord as well. Great. And then von Cobra still training. Arya Maki? Yes, as well. Perfect. Now the fun begins, guys. Now we can manage the heat. Now we can uh, actually build our mechs in a little bit of a different way. So that we can push the limits a bit more. Um, not using our heat management uh, in a perfect way anymore, but going a little bit over our heat management. So that we can then use that cool shot that is coming with the warlord to um, to cool my, our mech down and then uh, keep going. That means that 
We can basically take out a bunch of heat sinks and put more weapon systems into the mech to make it better because the pilots can mitigate that drawback of the additional heat buildup with the water ability. Um, but not right now. We're gonna take a contract first and uh, see if we can. What is that? Seven? Get seven hundred thousand? I mean, that's seven hundred thousand. But it's all five out of twenty-one. Intriguing. I'll take that. Though so we do it the other way around. Yep, I know. It's four skull. I'm three skull. But I expect good stuff on the battlefield, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, we might even be facing an assault mech here. We have the means to destroy them, so don't, don't be afraid. I mean, I should be. They are trying to hit me, and they're trying to kill me. Um, and they will do that as long as I kill them. So I bring the Shadowhawk to the front, I kill them. That's how we win. But the Shadowhawk needs to get to the front line in the first place, so it's a bit of a problem. Uh, all comes down to where we start, how many lances we face, and what we get on those lances. We are playing... Which biome is that? Is it Martian? I didn't, I didn't check, I didn't see. It doesn't matter. I mean, I wanted to play the mission anyway. Um, I wouldn't have not taken the mission because of the biome that we are playing on, so again. It's, for me, it's all about the mission types, mostly. We only fight one lance of max. Command interface initiated. Oh my god, and we are starting close. Oh, crazy, that's good, that's really good. Guys, guys, that's gonna be crazy. I am looking forward to that so much. Um, we use Skyros first. How's it going? No, we can't, damn. We have to use the catapult first. Reserving action. All right, let's go. Good to go. Huh? Problem is that we are playing in the night, and that's a huge problem because we need to establish line of sight in order to uh, punch people with our punch board. And playing in the night, Good to go. you guessed it, reduces your sight. I'm not going to the forest. On it. I want to be as mobile as possible. How's it going? Roger that. No shooting, just running. Hello? Is there an enemy? Hello? Any enemies here? Holding affirmative. What's that? Wait. One, two, there's a secondary objective. It doesn't show. What what is what is that? Look at that. Why is there a secondary object? Is there a reinforcements coming from here? Might be, might be. Uh, again, reserving, and... I mean, that's just a Pegasus. Pegasus is a 35-ton tank, that's not that scary. We will destroy you with something. Not with the catapult, though. Let's reserve even further. I think... Hmm. I think Ariamaki can do that easily. I mean, he is all the way in the back, and he has good pinpoint damage. But the hit chances are garbage, though. Uh, we might we might go in with Skyros. Okay, we take it slow. I wanted to sprint with Skyros to the front line, but let's just take out the threat at hand, and then next round we start engaging and try to do kind of a reserve, let them come to us, and then engage them. Turn. Standing by. So where to go? I think I'll just move. Ah. Okay, there's a missile carrier. We go for the DMG. Ooh. Hmm. Now we go with standard damage. Engaging with target. The damage on the on the DMG is oh the, the hit chance on the DMG was target really bad. Alright. I mean we found our targets. That's good. Uh that's a Brutus 75 ton tank, SRM 6s, LRM 20, large laser, double large laser. That's a Thunderbolt 20 missile carrier, and that's unidentified. I think it's... Hmm. SRMs? No, SRMs would be more. That might be Thunderbolt 5s. This guy needs to go, quickly. I will opt for the high HMs, though. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer here. Hey, we got him. So, one tank down. I was going for five salvage, right? 
Don't hit me. Ow. That's a hundred. Mm. Critical hit. Ouchie. Aye, aye. Let's give him uh, another target. Roger. I mean, is that everything we get here? Just tanks? Is that all we get? For five salvage? That is so underwhelming if that's true. Let's move. Let's kill. Here it comes. Yeah, he should be down. Huh. Huh. Reporting. One less vehicle. Yeah, Landing there's one by. less vehicle, but we, we still have that guy on top. What's he gonna do? I'm pretty happy that the uh, Uziel was getting shot. Alright. So the catapult is in a critical state, but he is still okay. She is still okay, actually. Oh yeah, you got it. Uh, what I should have done here is uh, going for Warlord for the higher hit chance and the damage increase. Okay. We use Ulysses first. <laughs> going in his side. Now using Warlord. Also, we go for DMG, 75% chance. And that is a crit. And that is a vehicle destroyed. Are we going home already? I don't know. I don't know. It might be. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Um, huh. Huh. How could I know? How could I know that we are only facing tanks here? I think I couldn't. I couldn't have. No, hmm. Uh, at least we will get some engine cores, I guess, uh, as a reward. They are worth something. Maybe engines, as in engine upgrades? Let's see. 84,000. Uh, we have to repair our catapult a lot. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Large laser, medium pulse, a lot of SRMs and LRMs. I'm honestly thinking about the Thunderbolt missile. It's a single devastating guided missile. Eagle Probe, Fusion Core, ECM. Uh oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, oh. So we take the core here. We need money. We need to get some value out of this mission. <laughs> and. Uh, oh, no, Thermal Bolt 5s. I see. That's 500,000. Not great. Oh, guys. <laughs> What's the next uh, next valuable thing? What is it? The IC engine? The Beagle Probe? 370. It's 250. No, never mind. 430? Uh, kind of. Or, you know what? We'll take the... We will take one Thunderbolt missile. One. And... Ammo for that thing. Yes, Thermobolt. I like the idea of having a Thermobolt. And then there is a Thunderbolt. How many shots? Three. Three's not much. I'll take two regular Thunderbolt um, ammo bins here. Yeah. T-Bolt one. Do we by chance have one? No. Okay. So now we can shoot that thing six times. I'd rather have another one. So three tons of ammo for the Thunderbolt missile would be great. And then uh, we, we might be able to make use of that later. Let's see. Maybe we're getting lucky. So, double large laser, LRM-20, medium pulse, SRMs, uh, we got both Thunderbolt launchers, which is okay because they're actually worth a lot. Yeah, we can sell one maybe. Bunch of Thunderbolt 5s, also 200,000 each. They're both fusion cores and only two tons of ammo, sadly. All right. Yeah, not the biggest outcome in terms of value here. I was, again, really hoping for mech parts. We didn't get it. Alright, now, that we have that, that was the first mission, it was just five minutes, that was nothing. We're gonna do a bunch more, guys, don't worry. We are here to play around about an hour, so make yourself comfortable, get yourself a nice drink, get yourself something to eat, have a snack, have your beloved one next to you, uh, cuddle them, love them, and then watch me wrecking some mechs and tanks. That's what we are doing today. Ah, oh, man. Which mech would I use to run a Thunderbolt missile? I mean, it's just a big, huge, 100 damage missile thing. Oh, we can actually make use of two. You know how? We have that, that, that one uh, fire control system for missiles, which reduces the heat buildup. Hmm. 
let's uh, think about that later. I mean, we don't really have a mech that can utilize them right now. But if we find a nice heavy mech, maybe an assault mech that can run both, I would probably do that. I'm thinking about a mauler. A mauler would be amazing right now. But okay, I mean, four days repairs, it's not too much, it's fine. And uh, a bit of fatigue. So the catapult will be actually ready before the people are coming out of fatigue. Then we go in and prepare the actuator that we have destroyed again. Uh, yep, this time it was the right one, the right side one. Okay. Work orders complete. And two days for the fatigue. Pretty good. Now we really need to get the money. Uh, speaking of, let me quickly go to the store and see what we can actually get from the stuff that we found. I mean, there's still something to be... Mm, okay. 36,000. Not much. Uh, we're gonna sell all of our Thunderbolt 5s, because they are not really worth taking. Six of them. So that's 200,000 roundabout. It's 190. Uh, we also got... I don't know, an SRM and then fusion cores. I think a 55 and a 210 or something. Yeah, everything considered, I think it wasn't too bad in the outcome. The fusion cores are actually giving us some money back, so that's another 300,000 roundabout. It was 500,000 that we got. Let's sell all of the other stuff so that we are actually safe for the next financial report. We don't necessarily need those low-rated fusion cores anymore. I think anything below 250 is not worth taking. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot of spare money that we had lying around. Yeah, pretty good. Now it's 1.5 million. That also means that we could consider upgrading the Argo once more. And in fact, I want that. Having that thing maxed out is pretty good. Tech point. Tech point for 180,000. Yeah, let's get that. That's cheap and that gives us something. And I want to keep Farah building all the time because uh, time is also a resource that we need to take care of. So, next mission. Haha! -ha! Repost. Nope, <laughs> not yet. Ambush Convoy, not really good. I cannot take the Steiner missions here, that's the problem. I'm not in good reputation with them. Are we taking this? I wanted stuff. Let's get stuff. Sure, let's go. Alrighty. Nice challenge mission. Three skulls against three lands value. That clashes nicely and we have some quite experienced mech warriors now especially since we have the warlord ability on all of our significant uh, shooting mech pilots that is really good that enables us to get that very important one alpha strike out focus with three mechs completely on one target take it off the battlefield reduce the firepower on the enemy team and then start um, rolling from there that is super good we just need to focus here so, let's see the enemy pilots are really good as well. They have ridiculous skills. They are running max with real good equipment. And um, I want that. I really want that. We might be even playing the other mission there. Which was, I believe, an ambush convoy. Mm. Depending on the dynamics of the ambush convoy, it might be that we are not set for it. Because we are too slow-ish. Are we though? Honestly, no. We are quite fast in our medium max, but it would be a very high scale mission. Let's see. Command interface initiated. So, battling the pirates. It's an honorable fight. Yeah, sure. Until they get their reinforcements. Oh, into the forest we go. Starbird. No, I want you to be here. I think the, the fight will happen around this hill. So this patch of forest, this patch of forest are gonna be nice, um, you know, pieces of cover for us. Need something, Chief? <sighs> Into the forest? No, I don't think so. I want you to be in the Let's open move. so that you are not obstructed by the terrain next go. round. And same is uh, true for Got the cataphract. That guy needs to be able to catch up with the team. Let's see. Yeah, there's we a guy. Trebiche. Uh, Lou de Guerre, so it seems. The dog of war. Up, got a very French dog inbound. of war. A lot of 11s. Ow. Uh huh. That hurt. There's the reinforcement. Mm. Good to go. Obviously, I want to shoot this guy. 
Uh, I will wait a little bit longer. Maybe they are presenting one or two max where I can uh, stay in the forest and shoot them. 14, 11. Orders. Yeah, I think that's it. So we have to stay in the open in order to get something done here. Ah! DMG, I guess. Yeah, he's completely in the open. Let's go. Here it comes. That was uh, good. Receiving you. Gyros running close. Confirmed. Ah, there's an exterminator. Oh my god, 65 ton mag. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And there's an Orion. Holy shit. All right, all right, all right. You got me, guys. You got me intrigued. Yes, Commander. Um, pushing forward. Shooting. Copy that. Again, I want to focus hard on a single target. I'm not using Warlord yet. For the reason that I want to use all of my weapons when I'm doing that. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like the situation. Roger okay. That. No shooting, just running. Warlord here? Sure, let's go. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's some good damage there. I'm a bit worried about the exterminator. I think what I'm gonna do now is I pull back all of my mechs to this area. Deal with the exterminator after having dealt with the Ludiger. Wow. Ludiger? I don't know how to say that. I'm really bad at French, I'm sorry. So the Shadowhawk will probably punch the guy, hopefully attracting the fire from those guys, so that my other teammates can shift around here and focus completely on the exterminator. Uh, for that reason I will reserve Ulysses. Yeah. Let this guy come close. I'm happy with that. Also, I need to make sure that the Shadowhawk finishes the job here. That he gets the trebuchet down. Very important. If not, we will keep shooting the trebuchet uh, in order to take it off the battlefield. He is the exterminator. Don't exterminate my God of Rock, please. Damage is light. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. That's a 65 ton mech that's just presenting himself to get killed. Melee into this direction, in his back. And then we can deal with the trebuchet by shooting it more. We have acid, we need to go. I'm under heavy fire here. I think I could also put it the other way around. Still waiting. waiting for my oh, please, a raptor! Oh my god. So many super evasive targets. That's crazy. And then a Thunderbolt launcher. Mm-hmm. How's it going? Yeah, we have to be quick about the killing here. Only 71%. Mm-hmm. It's the best we can get though. Let's go! Position confirmed. Uh, no! No! Oh, so bad! He is bad, man. I mean, yeah, he was very evasive. Uh-oh. It might be that we have to pull back from this mission, yeah. Hmm. Commander. I was so banking on getting the kill on the exterminator. Alrighty then. Got it. The trebuchet it is. On it. it has to be. I think I hit something good. I'm here. So here we do a stand and shoot move. Yeah, there's one enemy down. Oof. Tango down. Tango down. You like to dance, huh? Position confirmed. All right. So next up, next up is the Orion. Hmm. The hit chance on the Orion is pretty good. The hit chance against this exterminator is pretty bad. But if we stand and shoot, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'll bring my catapult deliberately to the front so that the enemies have a bit of target diversity here. Alright, we shoot everything. Hoping to get more heat on the guy. A wheeled APC, alright. I don't care about that guy. 22 here, on the terminator. Oh, will he jump again? If he jumped again, I would be so happy. Because that brings him to his maximum stability. 
or to his, uh, you know, he would be almost unsteady. Ugh, the damage. I mean, I was, again, deliberately putting the catapult fire. to this spot so that it would be shot so that my other guys would have some relief, especially my melee mech, the Shadowhawk, which is at the moment showing his back towards everybody. Though so Exterminator's still thinking whether or not he wants to jump. But he wants. And he's overheating. We have... Ooh, quite interesting. Uh, we have two options now. Either killing him, trying to kill him, or leaving him there because he's overheated anyway and then managing the heat on him the whole time and then dealing with the other guys. I don't know yet what I want to do. If I can, I would probably punch the Orion. Because it's a nice, uh, valuable target. Or the Bushwacker. I don't like the acid. It's really bad. Alright. Uh, for that reason, we'll use Skyros first. Our Uziel is getting shred. And that's not good. Because we are running um, an XL engine. So if that side torso pops, we'd have a problem. A huge problem. Okay. Um, Going into the missile side? Yeah, I guess. Let's do it. Hello, Orion! Kicking him. It's not much that we need. Get that side torso off. Come on! One more. No! Uh-huh. Alright. Maki is waiting. We use Starbird next. Uh, for the higher chance to get that side torso destroyed. 22%. Not really good. Problem is the ECM that the enemies are providing from the Bushwaka and uh, all of that. I think it's the Warlord turn though. It has to be. Uh, I think I also use Vigilance. Destroy the side also. No, you didn't. Yes, Commander. Oh, that is bad. It's so bad. Good to go. All right, Ulysses. You go in here. Acknowledged. You'll go Warlord, definitely. And you don't go. You don't go for DMG. You go for Standard. I need hit chance here. In. Give me that damage to the side torso. I I cannot believe that. You. Not a single point. What? Move order received. Incendiary ammo. So if we don't kill, we at least overheat him. Alright, we got that. Inflicted some heavy damage. Ooh, two max shutdown. Uh, this is a, it's a cool challenge. I mean, I really like those challenging missions. They are actually made for being a challenge. But what's gonna happen now? Is the Shadowhawk attracting fire? I really hope so. The other guys need to get some room to breathe down there. That was good. That was really, really valuable. Yeah, the Raptor, obviously. 20 damage. Hopefully he doesn't hit his taser. I couldn't see. The camera was just jumping. Uh, okay, let's see. Are we tasered? ECM protection. Sensors impaired. Target acquired. I think it didn't hit. Alright, 37, 37 damage. Can deal with that. No problem, Mr. Bushwaka. Yeah, and we're gonna keep the other guys just overheated. That's the plan here. The heavy max. And then there's also there's the missile carry in the outskirts, which I'm super unhappy about. Shooting Thunderbolt missiles from I don't know where. I think it's like this area, like here. Okay, guys, what's your plan? I don't know yet. The Raptor. So needs to go, but we can only engage from the side. That's not good. So here's what we do. We destroy center torso. Let's go with DMG. Ah, okay. So we don't have to worry about the Orion anymore. And I think you have to hide. Let's go back. 
Okay, exterminator just powering up again. Um. Yeah, what about you? You you keep shooting him. We need like a lot of heat management to actually get him down, get him overheated again. And I also want the bushwhacker off the field. Not good. The bushwhacker needs to be punched. We go with this here. Let's do it. Let's try to deal as much damage as possible and. Uh, Thing. Then we pull back like that. So, Skyros. Skyros has two options now. Um, going in his back. Punching him. Getting some uh, heat from the plasma. Or, punching this guy. Trying to destroy his side torso in one blow. And that's possible. Or, punching the raptor. The raptor needs to go. Yeah, let's go. Not enough. But almost. I mean, we have his ECM destroyed. That's good. Uh, I'm also... Here's the thing. I was afraid of the taser the most. Because the taser makes it impossible to move. And it would impair your movement so that you could only move like one space. And it would impair your heat management so much that you would only dissipate like 20% of your heat each turn. Yes, boss. That would be so much... Um, yeah, I want to keep this guy overheated, so we shoot another incendiary barrage at his face. He's unsteady. Ah, it is overheating again. Cataphract is still in a good spot. I want to keep him around. Okay. And Ulysses has good, very good initiative. It doesn't help, though, because the exterminator has even more initiative. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. And what's happening now? It was the wheeled APC, I believe. Yeah, he's moving now. And now the exterminator. He's going for a melee attack. How much damage was that? Not much. And the tag. I mean, that's a problem. But at least he didn't fire his weapons. And he is still overheating. By. That's super interesting. Ulysses, um, what to do, man? What to do? Nothing yet. I want them to move and then react to their positioning because I want to keep the Uziel safe. Ow! Ow! We just lost an LRM. <laughs> no. Why would you do that to me? Yes, Commander. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Oh, damn. Alright. I mean, at the very least, the bushwhacker didn't move as a result. Um. Let's go. Huh. Options. Let me consider my options. We wait. I want to see if I can destroy the Please bushwhacker with the uh, melee attack from the Shadowhawk. Let's see. And then I can overheat the executioner, uh, sorry, exterminator, and try to go for a headshot with the bombast laser. I am coming for a. for a heavy mech, but at the same time, no, let me reconsider. At the same time, I only have two salvage, which means I could easily take the two Orion parts that are on the ground. That's a 75 ton mech, that's way better. Yeah, you are down, Raptor, that's fine. Nothing here. For tactical advantage. That's that one big missile launcher still. That's okay. So waiting for orders. You dude. He's kill. Let's do this. Just the arm. Not great. It is good that we hit him though. Um that means that one more hit from the side and we are fine. We have him. Can we actually engage from the side? Yes, we can. That's really good. Alright. So this guy is, is not a threat. We don't need to care about him. He's in our backs, yeah, but he's also shut down. So, no warlord this time. Mm, I will actually opt to not shoot the bombast laser because all we need is damage to the side torso. And the more hit chances we have, the better it is. Perfect. Engine destroyed. Down goes the bushwhacker. 
Yeah, this mission will come with the sacrifice, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a shame, I have to say. Um, the, the sacrifice being the... Oh, I'm pinned. That's crazy. The sacrifice being the LRM that we lost. That's not Awaiting good. Orders. That's not good at all. But we will get something out of it. I think it's fair. Let's do this. So, since the Raptor is shut down, we don't need to do anything against him. Uh, I will shut this guy down. But that he's definitely not doing anything next round. I am black on AC-10 ammo. Yeah, it's fine. You still have some. You still have, you still have the good stuff now. Out. That was just incendiary ammo. Now it's time to shoot the explosive shells. Let's do it. Okay. Was there anything else in that arm? No, just a LRM-15 double plus. Which is, again, a very good weapon system that we were losing. But we are getting more heavy mech powers as a result. And that's cool. So, you please. Let's go with the headshot. I like to try. It was a side also anyway, yeah. Yeah, that guy was running XL, obviously. Target neutralized. Good. Receiving you. Receiving you. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just fire. Welcome. And there goes the center torso. Now we're actually free to move again. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. My flamer is empty. Good. Aria Maki. Yeah, you need to push forward because you are still the mech that has the most armor around. Are we breaching shotting? We could Warlord. And just try to hit him a bunch of times. Good. Hey there. Oh, Skyros can go melee! Hell yeah, we didn't even have to shoot the guy. It wasn't necessary. Because 376 damage will just get the job done quite nicely. Hmm. Vehicle trash. Now where's the missile carrier? Onward. No retreat. You do nothing. Ready for I have no idea where that missile carrier is. Roger. I think it was last seen in this area. Huh. Commander. Ah, that's funny. Where are you? Is, is it up there? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Right, let's go in here. Cool down. And Ulysses, uh, hide behind the rock, please. I don't want you to die. What do you need? No, Ulysses, nothing yet. Might be there. I mean, that, that's where the, the thing is, the, the cross. Double time. Ah! The hell? A catapult! That's no pa that's no tank. That's a catapult. In all and the fresh one. Uh, okay. Hmm. How do we do it? That was the guy shooting the nasty stuff against our face all the time. I will warlord here. Higher hit chance, more damage. It's just a little bit of heat. And he's pulling back. Yo, don't hit me with your stuff. You're nasty. At the same time, I can actually acquire more... Um, more ammunition for the Thunderbolt here. I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take it as a priority. Um, but there is a chance that we randomly get it, and I wouldn't be too unhappy about it. Failed to connect. All right. Ready for orders. Can we somehow? Oh yeah, we can. I want to make him unsteady for the next turn. This time we are going for RNG for the range. Hmm. Standard fire mode gets us better results though. Engaging with target. All right. Ah, if we can make him unsteady, it would be amazing. Let's do this. Um, yeah, what would be his... How's it going? What would be his um, initiative? 17. Yeah, we could have gone in with Starbird first. I was considering it. But now we also have the ability to make him... Sit on his shiny metal butt. Passed all of the stability checks, though. Oh, that's crazy. STD, RNG, DMG. 
No, we go with standard. We can use Warlord here. Sure, why not? 60 damage to the face. And there's the knockdown. Alright. Now we have it. Pretty good outcome, Ulysses. Pretty good. Coming in from the flank, shooting up on bus laser. I think it's so good. And I think I just punch him. I will just stomp on his mech. I just wanted to finish it. No games, no gambling here. Just getting out of there. Uh, we have a priority pick anyway, uh, which is the uh, Orion. Sure. We should have two Orion parts minimum, and as a result, I will pick them. It was a good challenge. Um, it came with a sacrifice, being the LRM-15 launcher that I really, really like to have, but we also get some new heavy mech parts. That was a proper challenge, guys. That was really good. And yeah, yet again, Thunderbolt missiles, they hurt. A lot. Lots of repairs coming. And... There's the Orion. One, two, three parts. I'll definitely take that, nothing else. Because, oh my god, it's an arrow. That wasn't a Thunderbolt, that was an arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to say I'll definitely take the Orion because I want to push into the Heavy Mech territory. Damn. And then there is an arrow. Advanced AMS. Two defense against being hit by missile attacks. Plus one defense for all Lance members. And then 10% reduced damage taken from missile attacks. And then 10% reduced damage taken from missile attacks for the Lance. Damn. It's also very, 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 very good. Advanced targeting computer, we have that already. Missile SR. Uh, short range. Ah, okay. Uh, interesting. Plus one damage on the short range missiles. It's qu quite good. Uh, lower arm actuators, mask. Okay. Patchwork. Powered sensors. Slick suite. Void system? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Okay, no Orion, we will go with <laughs> Void System. Oh wait, we have to, oh wait, 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 wait a second. I thought the arrow had internal ammo. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. And we actually have to take ammo for that. Ah, oh, damn. I mean, five shots is just not enough. I want to play an arrow, though. I mean, it's just a no-brainer that I want to play an arrow. I also want the void system. It's so ridiculously good. That's, um, as far as I can tell, the best stealth in the game? I don't know. It comes close, at least. Hmm. That thing is so good. What do we take? Offenses or defense? Offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense. God, at the moment we are getting hit so often, that's the problem. I have the feeling that I need the void system, although I really love to play an arrow man. That thing can deal 195 damage. Imagine a warlord turn with that. At the same time, I would only be able to take one bin of ammo, which is five shots. I can't do it. Or I can take the arrow and try to get arrow ammo later. I don't know where and why and how, but... I think this is how we go with it. I need that arrow launcher. And then we go hunting on the hunt for the, the missiles, the, the ammunition actually. Do it. Here we go. A bushwalker, two of them. Exterminator, one of them. Arrow 4, medium variable speed pulse laser. Engine core 300. Ooh, good. Uh, and streak SRM ammo. I, I was seeing that. Oh, oh, ammo, ammo. Ah, it's streak. Okay. Good pickups, though. Good pickups. We will put the voice system into our Shadowhawk because that's going to be our meat shield on the front line. And if that's not getting hit, that's good. So, yeah, I think at, at some point I also need to pick up uh, XL Gyros or something, so that I can put that into my Cataphract and get rid of Pharaoh and put an NSS in there. 
just make the people just more evasive. And while the heat dissipating armor is pretty cool on the Uziel, I think that guy also needs more evasion. Especially since we are now fighting more dangerous targets. I mean, if that thing is getting hit, you could see that in the last mission. The armor is just shaved so quickly. So more defense is always good. Until we have heavier mechs that can actually take the beating. Uh, 31 days. 200,000. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, let's have a look. Shadowhawk. Ilya. The catapult got wrecked. Yeah, that's the problem. What about the contracts that are available? I'm gonna take a look here. Three and a half ambush convoy. The other ones are just travel missions. And uh, then the ones that we cannot take because it's Steiner missions. And the Steiner dudes don't like us at all. So in order to get missions or to get reputation again, we have to go to a very low scale planet and farm some reputation there. Or we just leave the Steiners. We made ourselves some enemies and we go for a border planet where we can fight against them uh, playing for the other faction. Or the planetary government. Anyhow, guys, that is it for today. We got some good stuff today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rogue Tech. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. You can get some nice rewards for that. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.